passport stamp just in time. As the Macau ferries pulling into Hong Kong brought back more than the usual Easter tourists, they carried home many British citizens who are taking advantage of their dwindling colonial rights. Today is the last day for Brits to get a one-year work visa stamped in their passports. For Derek Small, it was worth the round-trip ticket. Well, with the advent of the China takeover, um, I think maybe somebody's not too sure what's going to happen, so we've got to play safe, get one more year, uh, let things sort themselves out, and uh, we'll see next March what happens again. Carl Bradley, a local disc jockey, only spent an hour in Macau, but he got his stamp. Today was my last chance to go to get my year visa. I could have applied for a two-year visa, but I, I think I would have had problems getting it, so to make sure I went today just to get one year. After today, if British citizens want to work or study in Hong Kong, they will have to apply for a visa like other foreigners. And immigration officials have said that those visas will only be granted if local workers can't do the jobs. The non-professional labor force will be the hardest hit. That was the main reason Andrew Staff went to Macau. He is a chef, and he says there are plenty of those here ready to work. It's not that easy for me to, you know, prove to other people that I'm worthy to stay here and stuff, so it's easy for me to go to Macau and come back. This is the first time several Britons we spoke with began to feel the impact of the handover, and some say it's a little too early for that. Officially it's still British territory, so really we should be allowed to, or I personally think we should be allowed to have the right to work here without the visa until the handover, but I can see why they're introducing it early. There are some exceptions to the rule. Any British citizen who has lived in Hong Kong for more than seven years can apply for a permanent residency. Though there are no guarantees, it'll be granted. Christina Tiberio, Cable News. The territory's first Mandarin radio service has hit the airwaves. Launched by government-funded RTHK...